back at it again. Yeah, I went to Natty Rooms last night. <laughs> Why? You don't I, smoke weed. I do no, smoke weed. No, you don't. Weed. You roll it up and then you fucking waste it. No. You waste weed. We Your live here. stream this morning is so annoying. Why? You're so annoying. You're such a troll. I don't know what you're else you do. It. Yes, you do. You're trolling on purpose. I don't know. Whatever. So full of shit. And Wavy Gravy is an indica. I'm looking it up. You can look it up all you want, motherfucker. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's a goddamn fucking. You're gonna be wrong. Because you look at your phone. Yes. Why haven't you put the bumper in? Where is it? I don't it's at my house. Oh, I can't even get this. It's like way down in there. Fuck. So we got Joe Rogan talking here. Turn that on. Turn off your Liz Fair interview. I don't even know who she is. Fair, she you is. don't remember Liz Fair? Yes, it sounds familiar. The festival? Oh, yeah. It was her festival. I think so. Her and Lala Palooza. You know, Lala Palooza was a yeah. person. No. Lala? Lola? Yeah. Her last name is Palooza. Now you're I'm showing. not fucking with you. That's the reason that it was named. It was named after this dude's daughter, Mr. Palooza, his daughter Lola. That's why they called it Lala Palooza. Oh shit, and Bonnaroo. No, Bonnaroo is the name of a place. I was fucking with you, the whole Lala Palooza shit was made up. <laughs> Come on, I do it. I gotta get a moped. You and I should get mopeds. You should get a moped. It fits your whole style. <laughs> I can vape on it. <laughs> yeah, it fits your whole swag right now. You should totally do that. Vape on my moped on the way to the gym. Yeah. You don't go to the gym. <laughs> no, I run. <laughs> I like running. <laughs> I like to run. I just went running. Do you have a, um, a best friend named Bubba who has a shrimp company? <laughs> Do you happen to have a girl you're in love with who fucks everyone but you? No, I did. <laughs> you have a military haven't friend. We all? I have a military friend with no legs. No, we all haven't. But a uh, lot of people have had a girl there, that fucks lot, around on them. There's a lot of them. You've out. never had a girl fuck around on you. No, I had one girl one time when I was I was tattooing already. She was like 20 some years old. I was probably 20. No, I was like 22. So I was like 21, 22. And then I tattooed her, and she was like super cute. Really Really flirt, like overly flirty. I was like, okay, this girl's definitely trying to let me know that she likes me. I just went out with her like two or three times, and she was just such an aloof that I already knew that yeah. she was all, all over the place. And there was no explanation for certain things. Like she'd have a different car sometimes. Whose car is this? She, oh, this is my friend's car. And I, so I already knew what the score was before we yeah. even started. So I never got. Like, yeah, I guess so. I never like let myself. I mean, I fell in love. But with the one. trick is that's the problem. Like you find this like impossible puzzle. You're like, I love it. I want it. I gotta have. I mean, I recognize that it, it is what it is. If someone wants to be so free and you try to like not free them, you're fucked, bro. Yeah. You know, I just usually try to check the temperature before I go outside. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all it is. So no, I've never, no, not to my knowledge, I've never been cheated on or anything like that. You've cheated on Teddy in the past. Comment down below. I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to know. I mean, man, just like, yo, I fucked your girl like yeah. 20 times. No, don't go chasing waterfalls, dog. You can't catch a wave in a bucket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stick to the creeks and the rivers and the lakes. You got the heat on right now. Do you really? You haven't seen it? No. It says, so funny to think a mere four years ago, Dirty Earn wouldn't let me take a picture of him with a blunt and he wouldn't get a tattoo. Now he smokes weed for a living. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, I forgot about all that. Like, remember when not when Vine was out? Yes. People would get so mad if I was. Your like, vines yeah. are still up. I know, me. I know. Get so pissed if I was trying to like film you smoking weed. I know. You'd be like, I can't have this shit on the internet, bro. That's why you probably wouldn't let me film back in the day when I was like, we should film all this shit. That's probably why you were like, no, I don't think we should do this. Uh, uh, I don't think so. What if I want to be a congressman one day? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> It's amazing. My church group won't like it. You're also a crazy Christian. That was crazy. Had to come pick you up at church. I swear to God, I, he must have just said it. Cause... No, it was hours ago. You're just ignoring your best friend. You had your no. best friend who doesn't see your tweet. We've already had a conversation. Me and your boy. I met the owner of this place. Yeah, everybody's met the owner of that place. Really? Yeah, he's everywhere. <laughs> hey, a lot of dogs must have drove themselves here today. They got a parking <laughs> lot full of cars. Ooh. Hi, Omar. You are so handsome. Yeah. I think we should get down by that, right? Yeah. Okay, I will go ahead and take a call. Cool. Right. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Take care. Yeah, you too. Homie the homie. Homie the homie the most. Trying to get your dance on no. today? <laughs> it's better when you're holding the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird if you're following me with the camera as I dance around. Omar's first day. Yeah. Then Must be tough for you, just leaving him. No. It's fine. JC pulled from my live stream last night. What do you mean? My live stream, all of a sudden somebody's like, oh shit, JC's live. And then <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Damn, JC, why you coming after my boy's live stream number? Yo, fam, be don't, don't be going live when Dirty Earn is setting off his fucking smoke alarm. All right. Oh, this is so so JC's live, it went from like 30 to 8. People came back, but it wasn't safe. I ended up spending more money here. I just bought Stay weed yesterday. So now I'm going to see some fucking, they're going to have some citrus sap or some shit. And I'm gonna, oh. Almost hit him. This so girl almost hit some guy yesterday. No, no, no. And then his girlfriend starts hanging out the window. They're both behind me, like screaming. I'm just pretending I can't see him, and I know it's pissing them off because they're both like flailing their arms. So you want us all to believe you did nothing wrong? There was just a car full of people behind you flailing their arms out. And that's what you want us to believe? <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened, but. Not me. You should move into Turntable Studios. No thanks. <laughs> Boy, it looks awesome. Does it? It looks awesome. It's right next to the fucking sports arena. It's like literally they share a parking lot. And then across the highway, the highway, uh, <laughs> there's a fucking amusement park. So, what's, yeah, it sounds loud, my dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it sounds it like. Sounds like you'd be living inside of a fucking Coors Light commercial. Guarantee you go in there and the fucking douche ratio is fucking 100. Per you walk in there, they're like, sorry, sir, we're at capacity. You need to turn around. We've seen your Instagram story. It looks like you have three selfie shots in your mirror. Grainy, no no weight on the bar. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to take a shot of weight on the bar. Nice. You're not going to lift it. You're just going to put the weights on the bar and then take a picture. Yeah, I might lift it. <laughs> Good thing I didn't say anything crazy. <laughs> Represent a nation worth of people trying to convince another part of people to smoke weed. The fucking answer you gave was, I'd ask you what your problem is with it. <laughs> Well, I hope my grandma sees this, but I'm gonna tell you, Grandma, I love the weed out here, and that's why I'm here, but um, I think the, the, there's, I would ask them, why do you think it should be illegal? And, the, and you know, it would be interesting to hear when you look at it, you can't really find a bad thing about marijuana that's not so propaganda. There's really no negative aspects of marijuana. We still got smell in the car, gotta be a rebel. Oh. I know you're around a bunch of your fucking fellow Jerseyans. Oh. I'll just bring the whole jar in, I'll just bring... Boy, you better bring that whole fucking jar before you try and bring a fucking 1.2 in here. Plus, you're gonna fucking fuck up your first joint, so we're gonna need fucking a whole quarter. And sour tangy. Ooh! Oh, but you're I not need tangy. to take a dab of that. Uh, I don't think so, you only vape. And isn't dabbing vaping? No, it's dabbing, that's why it has a different name. You don't even smoke, dog. you're a collector. You're a weed collector. That's why you just bought an ounce. Might as well leave half of that here. You think you're fucking Snickle Fritz, but you're not. Roll it up, son. Box of these shoes. Did you just stomp on it? I'm not gonna smoke that. Did you just put your shoes on it? Yeah. You really just put your shoes and dirt on a piece of paper and My you My shoes are pretty clean. How's that going? Uh, Are you serious? Dude, look, and it looks good. This is what I don't fucking get. Maybe it's pulling. Kind of, but it's not like yours hit. Yeah, hear that motherfucker? It ain't like a motherfucking real hit. Fucking real shit, dog. I don't fucking get it. On that real shit with look. the real hit. What is this? <laughs> Started off rough, but it looks like it's gonna finish strong. Good job, her. We're in 45 minutes. My joint is still burning. <laughs> That this is, is the best joint you've ever rolled. I will 100% agree. Joint I ever rolled. Put me on the news in a motherfucking dispensary in the morning. You get the best joint you ever rolled in the afternoon. This is fucking painstakingly boring. Yeah. God, let's take another dab. Tell me about it. Mm-hmm. Uh -uh. 
Mm -mm. Proceed to the roof. Proceed to the roof. Because we got to scoop up our homie on it. That's what we're here to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call up your whole crew. Why are we in this back row? You took a wrong turn. You there took it is. a wrong Day, turn. Doggy daycare. You Let's took see. a wrong turn. No, yeah, yeah, because you took a wrong turn. I'm on the right road. It just... put you in the right place in spite of what you've done, but you took a wrong turn. Another doggy daycare right it's here. It's not even the same one. I know. Ah, so you're not in the right spot. No, I'm headed to the right spot. And you are not a navigating motherfucker. That's for sure. There he is. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Yeah. Gorgeous? Oh. Yes, you're beautiful. Because I know, I know. Nice. Let Larry down there and happen. I'll fuck you up too. You'll be sitting there fucking microwaving your goddamn hunger man talking about how this dude in a pink shirt whooped your fucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know who it is. Turn your back to me. Construction worker cop an attitude with me earlier. Fuck you. <laughs> Better be on film too so I can show it. But I don't think it is. But she copped sure. the attitude. I'm pretty sure it was off. But Ern almost got out of the car. I had to pull him back in. So yeah. Ern, don't do it. Yeah, I'll hit him, bitch. Ooh, no, I'm just kidding. I'll be back. Salad run. Oh, she's gonna yell at you again. Look. Yeah. Yep, here she goes again. She probably thinks we're just driving down the street with a camera on you purpose. Should. You know? All right, so Ern's gone. Omar is home. Hopefully you go to sleep soon, sir. You should be pretty tired. No, not yet. I have time to make any food, so I went and grabbed a salad. Uh, it's just the same stuff that I make. It's just quicker. I don't want to make chicken today. My hand is fine. Well, it's got a little burn on it, but I don't feel it or anything anymore, so. We're good there, and um, so I have to, my house is a fucking wreck now. All these shoes are going, maybe even a couple more. We'll see. Well, not that white Ultra Boost. I don't know why that's there. Um, I have to work on this tour stuff and work out this proposal because I have kind of meetings about it tomorrow. So, I'm gonna get to doing that. But first, I'm gonna eat my salad because I'm starving. It's two o'clock officially. Woo! Okay, my legs are so sore today. Oh my god. Some delayed onset muscle soreness. For real. For real. Um, I just had to go and steal this package from the front desk because there's a new lady up there. And this has been sitting there since like 12 and she still hasn't checked it in. So I basically... Um, I had her get up from her desk and then I just stole it. So now I have it. But it's mine, so it's not really stealing. But these I got on sale and these I got out of curiosity. Again, my man Crow's Feet, he, uh, he said I should check these out, so I'm checking them out. Oh, well, they're winning me over a little bit with the box. That's what we got. Oh, comes with a shoehorn. Do love shoehorn. Don't use them, but I do love them. I just like accessories, really. This out. Oh, the PK seems nice. I just don't like this front. I just don't like this sole. I don't like, I don't like this. I don't think. <laughs> At least not off bat, not like off first glance. Okay, I'm gonna give these a shot. I'm not gonna wear them today. The gold heel cup kind of bums me out because it's not like really gold. And this Predator on the back is just, this this part I'm not into. This shit looks makes it look like a wrestling shoe. Super wrestling. I didn't know that was on the bag. Not a huge fan of that. Whatever, I guess. Not even that noticeable. All right, we'll try these out tomorrow. I don't have time for them today. Um, but one thing I'm gonna talk about with you guys is the Climacool Ultra Boost. Of course, because I'm selling shoes, I'm getting asked, why? Why are you selling all these pairs? Because um, I have more, and there's more coming. And it never stops. And I don't plan on opening like a warehouse full of shoes. Nor do I plan on being like, you know, I don't know, mayor or something where I'm just like showing off years and years of shoes. Um, but in my shoes, there's a lot of white pairs going out. And a good reason for that is that there's now the Climacool Ultra Boost. I have a lot of white shoes. This might be one of my new favorite white shoes. Being asked a lot to compare it to the Ama Manier, which I really don't think they compare. It kind of rhymes. Ama Manier, Ama Manier, it doesn't compare. They're just different shoes. Like the 
Tom Mamanier is very luxy and feels nice and has nice like cashmere wool. This shoe is also really nice but just different in a totally different way. The openness of the knit is amazing, makes the shoe super breathable and light. It's noticeable in your foot. Your foot does not get as hot. Your socks don't get as sweaty. They open this entire knitting up like the knit is completely open. The cage is redesigned completely, thinned out. Like it flexes with your foot so much better than a regular Ultra Boost. Yeah, the TPU cage almost feels fucking prehistoric. These cages that kind of run with the foot just obviously, I mean, obviously work better. Nice, nice open PK all throughout the shoe. Back of the shoe, it tightens up a little bit, but still PK. Translucent heel cut with silver Ultra Boost branding. Boost, a sole that was white before I started walking on it. And then a blue torsion system. But yeah, as far as Ultra Boost goes, I mean, this is, Climacool is, is great. I mean, I'll grab, I'm probably gonna grab the gray colorway, because I honestly don't have a lot of like solid gray shoes. And I really like the Climacools. It just being, you know, people are always saying they need to improve ultra boost and i'd say that like this is a great improvement not that it makes any other ultra boost obsolete very similar to a 1.0 toe box so i don't really understand why anybody wouldn't fuck with it since the 1.0 well i don't know what 1.0 is resell for now but i'm sure it's not cheap not a true white just like the black pair is not a true black there's a little bit of cream stitched in around the toe box but it's it's really not that noticeable like really not that noticeable regular performance logo insole with the bubble letters now just kind of a weird move 12 and a half with an insole so i'm pretty sure you could half size down because normally when i have a 12 and a half i have to take the insole out and this is totally fine with the insole in so you could probably have size down you may want to stick to your true size it's really hard to say with ultra boost i generally go with my true size but my experience with this 12 and a half is that it's looser so you're probably okay uh the knit is definitely just more open so that that probably helps cream lace tips even though people want me to call them something else like aglets i can't remember what they want me to call them i call them lace tips this is it it's a regular ultra boost box um my one piece of advice to adidas would be to change the box at this point i know it seems silly but honestly if you just flip the box if you flip the box to maybe purple and yellow you know more purple less yellow or just flip it do something people people will respond i promise they'll just be like oh well, this new box i promise you that tips for free ultra boost climb a cool and white and here is what they look like on my feet i'm actually super tired there's no gym today it's an off day my legs are cooked i've got to finish up this proposal stuff so i'm gonna get out of here and start editing and try to stay awake for all of it because uh i'm pretty tired today so which is normal you know you're gonna get tired gotta get tired sometimes it's okay i'll get through it see you guys tomorrow Peace.